Hi, this is EuroUSD and today it's Sunday, 8th of November 2020. I'm Sofia Stavropoulou and this is a technical analysis study on the pair using Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, Bollinger Bands, Fractals and Stochastics. On the monthly time frame we see that the price tried, initially tried to make a downward corrective move but uh, the fact that the leading Kumo remains flat and bearish and that there is a body of a bearish Kumo above the price um, pushes it higher and it may even find the strength to bridge the bearish reversal candlestick pattern that was formed here a few weeks ago uh, a couple of months ago so um, for now price wants to continue higher. On weekly time frame we see that this gap between the recent consolidation of the price and the curve of the upper Bollinger Band is the gap that the price wants to cover right now. So the price will try to reach uh, the level of 1.20 Eight one one point twenty eight is something, at least for now, and this is a distance of two hundred nine two hundred plus pips from where the price currently is. On the daily time frame, we see that the price uh, moved upward uh, towards completing the bullish range but it didn't succeed in turning the leading Kumo into flat and bullish yet so it can't go down yet furthermore we have a W formed here on the daily and the price closed above the middle of the W and that means it can now go higher from this point 240, 200, let's say 220 pips, 220 pips as as many pips as uh, on average its leg of the W is. So let's see the distance, it's, it's almost, almost the distance it will be a bit higher but let's leave it leave the line where I placed it uh, so we get a confirmation from daily about prices intentions on H4 um, the price is moving above bearish Kumo and as soon as Kijen Sen pops out of the Kumo then the the scissors between Tenkan Sen and Kijen Sen will push the price higher uh, with stronger momentum. On H1 we see that price um, covered this gap here and it's going to make a statistical validation to the median Bolger band and continue. It doesn't it doesn't show signs of a deep um, or a decent correction, downward correction for now. If this correction is going to happen, it may happen on M30, but while the lower Bollinger Band remains inside the body of the Kumo, it's rather unlikely that the price will make a bearish Kumo breakout on, on M30. It may make a correction down to the Kumo, but uh, bounce back up after that. We will see. It depends on on 
how the Chico span, the green line, will interact with path price as soon as it approaches it. So for now, um, the biases are more bullish than bearish for the pair, and we, w we will wait to see how the price will behave as soon as it reaches that level. Thanks for watching. Um, uh, I would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. That will encourage me to uh, create more analysis on more pairs and more often. Thanks for watching the video and happy pips!